Hey guys, Tad here with Kiss Organics. I'm out in the garden today and I was just thinking about a post I saw on social media recently regarding flushing and living soils and this idea that there's never a good reason to flush your soil. So let's talk about it. In organic soil, we're never going to flush the soil to remove nutrients mid cycle or somehow remove something from the plant. It just doesn't work that way. But in between cycles, if, for example, we have a soil test or we, we're seeing osmotic pressure on the root system due to high levels of sodium or high levels of chlorides, or even if we have excessive nitrates because you over applied nutrients, then these are all good reasons to flush soils. Yes, we have soil tests showing pre-flush and after flush that if we put certain volumes of water through the soil relative to the amount of water of soil that we have, we will lower our, our levels of these nutrients and allow us to get our soil back into a better balance. And if you're one of those biomimicry people that believes that mother nature would never flush soils, well, not my, that's not my cup of tea, but one would say, you know, we have rainfall events, we have flooding, these things happen naturally. So these would also lower in, you know, in situ soils levels of sodium chlorides and nutrients as well by pushing them further down into the earth. So, this happens typically from compost sources, from water sources, from the amend organic amendments that we use. And so we try to be very careful with what we add to the soil. We personally, we test all of our inputs to know what sorts of so levels of sodium and chlorides are coming in because plants need very little chloride. They don't use that sodium. It's just making, it's just raising your EC and making it harder for your plant to access water and nutrients. So these are all reasons to consider flushing. Now, if we manage things well, but our only removal from our soil, if we're not watering to runoff, is through the plant's biomass, over time it is possible, even with careful management, to where these things can build up. So if you're building out in a facility, if you have an indoor space and you want to run living soils, it's always a good idea to have a plan in place, uh, you know, have a drain or a way to flush the soils if you have to. Most common reason we see people need to do it, they over applied nutrients. They weren't testing, they just put too much fertilizer, too many organic food sources into their soil and it caused things to get out of whack and they have high levels of, like I said, typically it's nitrogen that gets over applied. Uh, but we do see high levels of sodium and chloride. So please do consider this when, uh, when you are soil testing, when you are seeing issues with your plants as a solution. Again, it's a last case scenario, but it is something that we have as a tool in our toolbox that I think is really important.